Have you made a mine in the middle of a field where you just have a hole going down to Y level 11 where you have the staircase but nothing over it, nothing covering the mine? Well, this is what you need. You need one of these. It's perfect for covering the hole for the mine and it looks good. So let's see how to make it. Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. First, you place down a block anywhere you choose. Then count out seven blocks. And on the eighth one, place a block. So there's seven blocks in between. Then take a 90 degree angle and do the same thing. Basically, we're making a square. So make sure there's seven blocks in between each one. So these blocks are nine blocks apart. Go into, then on the third block out, place a block. Then there's three spaces in between, then place another block. And do that on the opposite side. So this would be only on two sides of the build itself. So remember, in two, then out three. So next, we're going to build up the height. On this four center ones, we're going up to the fifth block high. So add four blocks to it. So five total. And on these outer ones, they're going up four. So add another three blocks to it. Now make cross sections. Connect the uh, beams, I guess you could call it. First, you can do it on the outside ones. Then you can make the uh, square. Once you have the square around the whole thing, take from the center block of the extension and make one lower across the whole way to connect to the other side. And now we're going to lay the walls down. First we're starting with cobble and just follow this path around the inside corner of the squares. And round off the edges like that. So you're not like a complete square. And that's the that's the place where you want the opening so choose which side you want the opening and then do that and now on the opening side we're going to put a pillar up with the cobblestone up three to the um to the beam we're going to do that for the back beams also and we're going to do one in the middle so you want to count over three and in the middle and just do it three high so it'll actually be four high at that particular place then add it up to the beam the beam behind in the back I forgot to add this earlier so this is a quick fix for fixing that so now it looks right <laughs> and now we're gonna add the planks to the uh, inside and basically we're just gonna to the height of the cobblestone we're just gonna add the um, planks just like this to create the inside walls on this side we're going to skip one in the center for a window. So skip that place and now add those there. And here, we're just going to place one down in the corners of each one of these windows here. So one down in the corners, don't build those up and build up these edges like this on the outside here. Now with that done, you take some oaks, I mean uh, spruce stairs, place one down normal, then one upside down, and just like that, and do it on the other side. One normal, one upside down, and that will be the top part of the window here. Same on this side. So one normal and one upside down. So the window should look like that back there. Now you take some oak fences and Fill the areas in with the windows. Pretty simple as it goes. This build is very simple. Um, it looks nice, but it's very simple. It's so very good for a beginning game. And also we take the oak fences and place them in each corner. Just like that. Just to kind of round out the edges a little bit. Because... Uh, Minecraft is a game of squares, and the less squares that we can do, the better. Or the less squares it looks, the better it is. Now we're going to place cobble stairs around all the pillars. 
just like that. Well, not like that, but like that. So the backs of the stairs are going to face the pillars in every direction that you can put down the stairs. Now we're going to put up the uh, slabs, cobble slabs on the top half of the um, outer edges of the taller beam. Then follow, watch this, we do the double slab there, one over, then the double slab there. And then bring one out to the edge. And we then we do that on all sides, on the lower half, I mean on the upper half of the lower beam, and also to the corner. Then we do the double, the single, then the double. Now we're adding the slabs to fill out the, the side grooves here. Just have them to the height of the uh, slabs on the side there. So just one high here, then you can just do the upper half on this particular side and repeat and on the other side. Now we're gonna take the spruce slabs and we're gonna do the outer rim of the um, build on top of the, the beams. We're just going to place a layer there and basically each square that we place farther inwards is just going to be one higher. So it's very simple to do. So once you're done with the outside square, bring it in whoop, one higher and just make another square and repeat until you get to the center. And at this point, instead of going up, it's up. It's your pref personal preference whether or not you want to do the the. Um, roof that ascends like this or you can just have a flat roof now we're gonna add the slabs on all the corners all six corners eight corners sorry oh I forgot one there so add a half slab to all these corners and on the front ones we add a cobblestone wall and we do this on the back and then we can add lights to the cobblestone walls add lights or lanterns I should say to these add a light add a cobblestone wall and add a light on the taller ones and just add the uh, lanterns on the lower ones that way we can see and now you take uh, some oak trap doors place them on the third block up on each one of the main pillars facing outwards that's the only side we're doing this on so the third block up now we're gonna add some three barrels to the corners and you can place them however you like and we're going to place five furnaces. Now we take some chains. We add two chains to the center. One, two. I never get those chains right. Then over in the corner, um, parallel with the cobblestone, you add an oak fence, then a chain on both corners. Then we add a light in the center, a lantern in the center of the, in between the chain and the uh, fence post on each side. Now we take a uh, spruce trap door and we put it underneath the bottom chain there so it looks like a table being held up in the center. Now we take a oak plank, place it in the corner, place a spruce trap door like that and put a uh, pressure plate on top, a spruce one. Crafting table in the center. Then we dig down two in each one of those three places and we place down a campfire then we cover up the campfire with any blocks so at ground level then we can add smokers on top of those well, not like that but get out of here like that so it looks like smokes coming out of the smokers then we take leaves and we place them randomly inside how you'd like I forgot to add this earlier, put a half slab of uh, spruce on top of this back layer and also on top of the um, 
pillars in the front like that forgot to do that earlier sorry guys there goes the perfect tutorial now take some bone meal and bone meal on the ground and get rid of any too high grass we don't want too high grass inside here also do it in the front get rid of the too high grass here and also here we don't want it blocking the area but it doesn't matter around the corner so I just run around the building and every eight or ten blocks I just splash the ground with uh, some bone meal just to get some flowers and stuff in here if you wanted to you could get rid of the flowers it may look better without the flowers now on the places that doesn't have grass I just add some buttons randomly in different directions just to make it look like there's might be some stone on the ground here and on the inside of every window I put a two towel flower just something you can see from the inside from looking out it makes it look better so the two tall flowers inside each window so you can see it when you look through the windows it makes things look a lot better and it's the small things that will make things work and so that's the finished product do you think you see the one I made over on the other side um, that is also finished that's what it looks like with the flattened roof and I did the roof a little bit different you can just look at that and change it up if you like the other one better. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on making the mine hut. I rather enjoy this build. It's pretty easy and it's pretty resource friendly. So if by any chance you did use, end up using this tutorial and you made this in your world, could you please do me a favor and send me a uh, copy, an image of it? That would be awesome. It would make me feel better and I would love to see this in your own world as that would be an amazing thing to see. But please hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this tutorial, and have a great day. It's KMA. Goodbye.